Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you guys about this Bitcoin chart and how we had the bullish scenario play out. The next levels that we're looking of headed for, looking to head to on this chart, maybe some levels that we might be coming back down to on these charts. Want to also take a look at some other things going on with the entire crypto market in that regard, as far as the Bitcoin price. Also, want to talk to you guys a little bit about AVAX. So, shout out to AVAX for having their partnership with Avalanche. I've been talking about AVAX on this channel for a minute since they were trying to be a layer two. Now they've switched to a layer one infrastructure. We're going to get all into mm -hmm. AVAX in this video. So, if you're excited, like the video and do that stuff for the algorithm to help your boy out. So, first things first, let's take a look at this Bitcoin chart right here. Now, decentralized. Now the first interesting thing that I see on this Bitcoin chart right here is that we have some resistance right here that we haven't gotten above. Now, this resistance tells me that, hey, look, we might be wanting to come back down and do ourselves a retest of this 200 moving average right here and then take off. Or it might do a Bart Simpson pattern and just come straight down. So we're not fully out of the woods yet as far as Bitcoin goes in, in that regard. But hey, we can enjoy the gains. Um, this is not financial advice, but if you got some nice gains over 100% or something like that, maybe take a little bit off the table. I don't know. I'm not your financial advisor, but getting down here, here we got the RSI getting topped out right here as well on the daily letting me know that hey we might want to come back down and retest this 200 moving average which would also retest this moving average right here on the RSI um, which would be you know not a bad thing that would be pretty good we don't want to go straight up we want to go like this we want to go in some nice waves and try to get back to the all-time high so looking at the weekly we can see right here on the weekly we got above a 13 moving average and then we might be headed to the 200 moving average to retest that um, on a lot of other coins that have been popping they haven't been able to get above that 200 moving average on the weekly but we'll see what goes on with that right now that level is at around on my chart around 24 or 5 we'll call it 25k so a lot of people are calling for 25k right there and in and, and a lot of different um different styles and different types of ta they're calling for 25k and in mine in this simple way that i like to explain to you guys on this channel that's looking like where we're trying to go right there looking at that overall that's pretty exciting to see if bitcoin goes to 25k we don't know what could happen you know once it gets there it can get rejected and go down pretty fast we've seen this thing go down you know multiple thousands in one day and that could that could likely happen again and we've seen it go up to uh you know multiple thousands in one day so that could happen as well right here is going to be the level that lets me know pfft, what you know gives me an idea i won't say let me know but it'll give me a better idea but something that i'm pretty excited about so if you've been holding altcoins or if you start looking at looking into some of these altcoins at some of these stupid ridiculously low prices down you know 98 percent stuff like that um those coins getting back to their all-time highs are going to do have to do some pretty crazy numbers and the thing that like in the short term we might have some of the stuff going on um with altcoins having more of a run i'm looking at this chart right here so in the last couple of days this chart has been going crazy this is the total three this is the all the altcoins excluding um, bitcoin and ethereum as calculated by tradingview.com the price has been going up crazy on some of these coins you see some of them do 200 300 percent some of the lower caps especially the ai coins um but we hit some resistance right here at the 200 moving average now this is what i was talking about you know for for bitcoin on the weekly hitting some resistance on the 200 moving average down here the rsi hitting some resistance right there on the rsi for sure and then the tdi is superly overextended now if this thing can come up and retest this 200 moving average, you know, that's a bunch of millions getting added into the altcoin market again, which could cause altcoin prices to do um, some pretty nice things, especially if you're holding some of the lower ones on the list. Keep in mind, low cap gems, you know, 
more risk, more reward. That's what I like to do with uh, most of the time, but I still do hold some higher cap coins. We'll talk about one of my favorites in a second. Looking at this chart right here, this makes me a little bit more excited for this market because this is the weekly of this total three, and this is above the 200 moving average already. You know, had a nice little uh, bottom right here, came straight up, got above it. Looks like it's retesting it right now. We got four days for this stuff to play out, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It look, uh, you know. It looks pretty nice. The only thing that I'm seeing right here that I want to do is get above this kind of trend line right here, depending on how we draw it. I'm, I'm just going to draw and say we're not over it yet because I don't think we're fully out of the woods yet. But if this takes off, all coins can do some pretty nice things. Also, the RSI is not overextended with all of the altcoins. So I want you to take a look at this right here. This is a stable coin uh, charts right here. And we can see that like, look, when this thing dipped super hard last year like a couple of months before we had i mean like when the bear market ended basically like in june and all that stuff and the price has been going down but if we come right here let's take a look at this one we can see that this one is on an uptick right here this one is on an uptick right here and some of these stable coins coming into the market is just a sign that we're getting more liquidity so i don't know what your thoughts are about how stable coins, where they come from and all this stuff. But hey, it's just signs of more liquidity in the crypto space, more money moving around, which is, you know, which is good for the overall market and for the overall prices. Coming down right here, though, I wanted to say real quick, we got this band addresses on Ethereum. We got USDT, USDC, um, and then band addresses over X amount of dollars. But the band addresses are going up pretty crazy right here on, USD, on USDT. And also on USDC, they like went up like they just been jumping banned addresses on these blockchains i guess i don't know let me know what you guys think about addresses being banned on blockchains i know we want to have solidarity and all this stuff you know but we got to stop the bad actors somehow what do you guys think about this what do you guys think about that um the next coin the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is avax now, avax is one of my favorite um high caps been talking about avax for a very long time on this channel not even sure what the price was when i started talking about it but a um avax shout out to them getting their amazon partnership about to talk about that right now so let's look at this price real quick so avax is at a five billion dollar market cap right now and they had a nice spike because of the news um right here with its official amazon has chosen has chose avalanche to bring scalable blockchain solutions to enterprise governments aws fully supports avalanche infrastructure dap ecosystem including one click node deployment offering the best tooling for these high compliance use cases so pretty dope right here developers can now use avax to deploy scalable fault tolerant and compliant offerings all while reducing costly compliance expenses and time avax also plans to act subject deployment uh, with the AWS infrastructure, it's easy to establish nodes and all this stuff. So pretty dope for Avalanche getting this partnership. Now, when I first got into crypto, like if a coin came out and partnered with a um, something like Amazon, it would make the price skyrocket and go just super crazy, like out of control. And what's interesting is like big news only gets announced like this in the bear market and i think there's a reason for that i think they don't want to manipulate these prices and kind of pump them too high they know that people are going to get excited they know that they got fanboys and stuff like that fanboys and girls who are like in love with these projects because they they make us so much money and you know they always wait to the bear market to announce some crazy interesting news like this now i've talked about other projects on the channel that are working with aws and are doing things with aw aws but i think this is one of the first times that they're um adding it to where people can just one click deploy some type of um, infrastructure um you know in their system in, in in the aws system so that's pretty dope for um avax looking at the chart right here on the weekly we can see when this news dropped volume came in price went from $11 or let's see from $10 all the way to $18 so a nice 80% gain right there in AVAX but it hasn't had its higher high close yet like these wicks um, almost there but let me just draw this right here and we'll leave this 
right here we got to get above that and close above it so this is the same thing bitcoin is doing it you can see it on the um on this chart a little bit better but bitcoin is doing the same thing it's not put in a higher high yet and that's what we're looking for for all of these altcoins so let me know what you guys think about avax let me know what you guys think about the aws news let me know about other cryptos that you guys know that are working with aws because i know a couple of them do you think that like avalanche won that battle do you think that they were like trying to pick which blockchain they wanted to go with and avax won let me know what you guys think down below also check out the telegram group got a telegram group where we can talk about everything crypto everything currency that's what we do in the group so like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed rip to crypto roots think positive and positive things will happen till next time Peace.